Elijah. My name is uh, Jake. That's and Nate. And I'm Mark the Shark. What do you play in the band? Individually? You do, uh, yeah. Well, I, I am the drummer. Uh, I do vocals. And yeah, I'm um, the guitar player. How did you all meet? Well, these two clowns uh, were born and raised <laughs> together. That, um, Actually, I met uh, these guys through an old roommate of mine, Andrew. Uh, introduced through just like mutual, like uh, mutual friends and working places, and, and yeah, through music. So, what are the daily struggles of an up-and-coming band? <laughs> the, I guess um, <laughs> getting up to do everything you need to do. <laughs> yeah, like waking up. Like it's 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 it's, it's a matter of there's a lot of things that are necess necessities to get done when you're a musician. All you want to do is write music all day, and so you got to kind of pull yourself away from that. I guess trying to pull yourself away from that too, you know, to book the shows, to get the exposure, to, to set everything up, to make sure the whole machine's running, and that you're taking care of all the, you know, I guess the business side of of, of uh, being in a band, you know, that's a big big thing. Especially, especially for the up and, the up and coming side of this, like I mean, because we don't have we're we're going without a manager, we don't have a promoter, so like when it comes to putting shows together for ordering merchandise for, you know, CDs, for getting graphics, online web stuff, like, I mean, it's all the, all the little pieces that people expect to see, but they don't really think about where it comes from, and it's all, you know, coming from us, you know, every day. Yeah, even for a live show, you know, getting all the, all the work. getting all the, you know, the live stuff done, and mixing it well, and making sure it sounds good and presentable, and, I mean, there's just so many different avenues that you got to look at, you know. I guess another one would be, too, is if, uh, you know, when you're in the when you're in the, actually in the process of uh, when you're actually in the process of songwriting, there can be some disagreements that you, <laughs> you have to uh, you know, like some one one person can think one way, you know, and another person can think another way, and it's a matter of getting to that getting to the point of compromise is usually uh, sure. you know, is usually sometimes mm -hmm. a struggle, you know, but it's kind of a necessity thing that the I guess the kind of the fight it kind of helps make the make the overall picture good because you know you end up coming to a compromise where everybody's happy and if everybody's happy then you're gonna then you know you've got something that's a lot stronger. Okay. Something like that, like do do cha cha do do cha cha, and have and have the entire audience clap along. Oh yeah, that'd be real sick. simple. Everybody go with that. Some real, just real simple. Do cha cha do cha cha, and then we go into the song where once we get the whole crowd clapping. Yeah, that'd be fun. That's the only thing is though is that, but they, they would have matched the intro though. It would, because it would be. I mean, I would suggest it would just. Cha I like that. I think I think that sounds pretty sweet though. It would just be just have people clap along. I forgot, but I think that's. I think we should do something like that. Like we'll get, we've never really gotten the good hand claps with the audience before. I just just make that so easy. That's because that always turns into. I think. I think actually, like if I think people have more of a natural rhythm than like. I mean. Yeah, don't give them too much credit. Bro. This. This always. This people suck. People can't keep a constant beat. It's difficult. To, to keep something completely out of time. Yeah, let's just add some maple. So it's, it's funny, that's what I'm saying. It makes it easier, I think. If you do this, it just turns into a shh. It's like everybody hitting this. Like a pretty cat. Like, yeah, like, a, like a different time. Like, I think it was. People would get that. If there was like a beat to follow. Experiment. Sure. Crowd claps. We'll try, we'll try one school, couple. One school. One school, yeah, with different, with different, we can, we can, we can experiment with variations of clap. Actually see which one's the easiest for people to grasp. Yeah. That's cool. Do you prefer playing live or recording? Good question. Um, I'm more of a, I am more of a live guy myself. I like, I like the, the whole live thing. Um, where you can just kind of go out and there's no rules and just do what you do and kind of just feel it. Make it happen. Yeah, I'd say playing live is like the dessert of doing this, so yeah, definitely playing live. Yeah, you're being able to feed off the crowd, being able to just like, I mean, you can get the kind of respark, be kind of like get a new magic, like kind of like be able to rekindle, and like the, it's new, it's really fresh for the audience, it's fresh for us again, and it's uh, you kind of get to revisit it. So, yeah.
I'm like kind of like an instant. I'm like, I'm kind of like an anxious person when like I don't I don't like the whole process. I don't really necessarily like the whole process of the tedious studio kind of stuff. You know, where it's just like over and over and over again, and you got to go through and do a million takes to get the right one or whatever, whatever it may be. I just like going out there and just like, like when I demo a song, I just like I just like to get the idea down. I don't want to worry about it like necessarily sounding premium. I just want the idea down. I don't, I don't care. Hey Stevie, yeah. when I'm sing carrying that note, should I, should I, should I bring that, carry that out, and then dip it down like that, or do you think I should just carry that one note? You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't care. You know, like that care? Did you hear what I did in it? What have you done to promote your band? Rock for yeah. Hunger Tour is, uh, is a big one. We kind of, uh, that, that one show at Kettering kind of blossomed into uh, this full-scale Rock for Hunger Tour, which is uh, really probably our main our main passion mm -hmm. and really a driving force for us right now is this going into high schools. And we work, uh, got a, uh, built a relationship with Gleaners Food Bank and a number of other uh, local food pantries. And um, basically we just put on like three performances at high schools, middle schools, and uh, variety of different venues too and uh, uh, raise meals for Gleaners Food Bank to you know, rock out with uh, rock out with uh, with kids and adults and just have, have an awesome time just prom prom we promote ourselves and we're also able to uh, advance advance a lot of uh, local charities as well. The means of promoting is we go to for a while we went to uh, and, and, and we'll be getting back to the, into this one when springtime comes back along but um, we go to anywhere where we're and there's a lot of you know where there's a, a large congregation of people and we'll <laughs> You know, we'll walk around with headphones and ask people if they want to check out our music. And I mean, hand and foot yeah. is huge. You gotta, you gotta like be meeting people, like show music, like kind of like get a, get the personal touch and like putting putting the music into people's hands. And we actually call it the uh, Road to 10K because we had this goal, of, like, and we still have this goal of about uh, 10,000 albums. Uh, of getting you know 10,000 albums out as soon as possible is really knocking out, talking to people. Um, and we we did a lot of actually filmed a lot of it too. But uh, yeah, and that's actually yeah. how yeah it's. And this is how we met Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> Where can someone find your records? Um, I mean, on, we're on uh, iTunes. We're on. Uh, <laughs> we're on, we're on uh, we're, and we're actually getting on a number of other um, sales sites. We're iTunes is that we have we have an online merchandise store where we're going to be setting up. Um, uh, Breathingonwaterband.com is mm -hmm. a website that we're working. We'll, we'll have up in the next like three weeks. Mm -hmm. um, Breathingonwaterband.com is a website we'll have up in the next three weeks. Uh, uh, <laughs> so for more information on our uh, cause towards uh, curing hunger in Metro Detroit, visit www.rockforhungertour.org. <laughs> That's rockforhungertour.org. <laughs> and that is rockforhungertour.org. <laughs>